In this video we will see how to integrate a JavaScript code into an App Inventor application to validate an email and a password. The format of a valid email is email at domain.com. For the password, it must be at least 10 characters long, and must contain, at least one uppercase character. At least one lowercase character. At least one digit. At least one special character. The technique involves using the Web Viewer component as a JavaScript processor. Our application requires an HTML file which includes JavaScript which can validate an email and a password. The JavaScript in this file includes two special App Inventor only functions, window.appinventor.getWebViewString and window.appinventor.setWebViewString. It is these two functions, App Inventor only that allow your applications to communicate with the JavaScript that is running in the Web Viewer component. To get started, open your HTML editor. Then add the script tag to embed client-side script, JavaScript. The App Inventor application passes the email and password entered by the user to the JavaScript that runs in the Web Viewer component. It is with the window.appinventor.getWebViewString function that we get a string with the following format email comma password now use the split method to split the received string into an array of substrings the new table has two elements the first element with index 0 represents the email and the second element with index 1 is the password now add the validate email function this function takes the email address as a parameter and then launches a comparison with the regular expression if the match returns true the email will have the correct format and the function will return valid email. If it does not find any match, the function returns invalid email. Add a second function validate pwd, which takes the password as a parameter. A password is correct if it contains at least one digit, at least one uppercase character, at least one lowercase character, at least one special character minimum 10 characters. If all these conditions are verified then the function returns the message strong password. Otherwise, it returns the message weak password. Finally, add the function window.appinventor.setWebViewString to pass a character string to the App Inventor application. This character string takes this form, the message returned by the validate email function. Then, comma, then the message returned by the validate pwd function. Save the HTML file and switch to App Inventor. Create an interface that contains a text box to enter the email, a label to display the message returned by the Web Viewer component following the validation of the email, another text box to enter the password. A second label to display the message returned by the Web Viewer component following the validation of the password. Finally, a button that allows the user to activate the application. Now add the Web Viewer component. Then, download the HTML file as an app media item. Processing of the HTML file begins once the user clicks the button. The Web View string block obtains the string of the Web View which is visible via JavaScript in the web view as a window.appinventor object. The string is in this form, the email entered by the user, comma, the password entered by the user. Next, call the goToURL method to load the validate email pwd.html page, thus starting JavaScript processing. During development, you must use the development path to the embedded HTML document. Before creating the application, use the production path. Remember to set this flag to false before building. The event web view string change runs and the new web view string is given by the value parameter. We need the split function to split the text into two pieces using comma as the division points. The resulting list is assigned to a variable and the elements of this list are displayed in the designated labels.